YouTube fam, how y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, a channel where I ran and I review. I'm your host, Uncle Tim. Man, we talked about Funko Pop so many damn times, and I talked about how I'm not going to pay full price for them anymore. I was at a Target, and I seen one that I really wanted. It was 15 damn dollars. I looked, and I said, no, nah, I'm going to put it back. I said, you know, what's the odds that I see this again? Not. But I'm going to say it like this, man. I didn't want to spend 15 damn dollars. Don't get me wrong. You may not like Funko Pops, but I do. And, you know, one thing about this, though, and I'm going to just keep it real, I want to buy things that I can see affordable. So what I start doing, what I start doing, start hitting up them Rosses, uh, those Dollar Trees, those Five Belows, man, and seeing what I can find, man. If I can find some cool stuff, man, I couldn't believe I found this Iron Spider for like $5, man. That was pretty cool. You know, from um, Ross. Dude, that wasn't bad. Then I found this guy, like the week before, or something like that. Um, Annihilus, the Walgreen exclusive. Dude, that was pretty cool. Um, it's just a lot of stuff. Then we got some other stuff. We got Jubilee and all of these other things. Madeline Pryor. The reason why I'm saying all of this is I start thinking outside the box. Stop saying I'm not going to support mainstream stores like Target and Walmart. And I'm just going you know, try to go ahead and hit Ross, you know, Ollie's and all of those. Um, Dollar Trees, Family Dollars, Dollar Generals, man. You know, these discounts. Shit, you just got to make it work, man. You know, because these other places, man, sometimes you just end up not really just gelling with everything man and i'm like man i don't want to spend 15 damn dollars per pop just imagine you buy 10 pops man or five pops man five pops at five dollars a piece that's 25 dollars plus tax you buy five pops at 15 damn dollars a piece shit that ain't even worth adding up because you sitting here like 15 15 that's 30 15 and 15 that's 60 uh that's like 75 damn dollars you gonna pay 75 dollars plus tax do you think that's a deal? No. It wasn't a deal when we thought about it in the first place. This is why I'm saying, this is why I'm cutting back. And now I'm starting to think about it and rethink it again. Man, look, I love my Funko Pops, bro. But you know what? Hey, I don't love those prices. Like I said, people are not really shopping Funko Pops like they are. Don't, don't get me wrong. The demand for them is still there. The supply for them is still there. But... Again, people are not checking for them like they used to, man. People used to be lined up to get Funko Pops. I don't see nobody lined up to get them anymore. Dude, I'm looking at a lot of stuff that I see people ain't doing anymore. But, you know, one of the biggest things is Funko Pops are losing money. You know, all that Disney stuff, you know, as far as um, Star Wars really fucked them up. Whereas they had to basically bury all that stuff, you know, because to keep it in storage was just too much. And they didn't want to give it away because people weren't going to do anything but sell it. Or try to return it to stores. They thought about all that stuff. And this is some of the stuff that they said. They laid off a few people at Funko. You know, it's just wild right now. And I know I'm part of the problem by shopping at like Ross and all of those places looking for Funko Pops. But guess what? They bought these Pops from Funko. So, uh, where are we going with that? You know, at the end of the day, I want you to think about it. These stores are getting rid of stuff. They're liquidating stuff, man. You know, they're liquidating and sending it around to whoever could buy it. And, you know, they're taking what they can for it. Again, this stuff. Remember, I talked to you before. Funko Pops were like, what, about $8 in the beginning. Then they became like 10 Then they started going up to like um, 11 Then they were like eleven ninety nine. Now they like fifteen damn dollars. And they're trying to go up even more. And I'm like, yeah, you go up any more, people are just going to leave them sitting there. And this is what's happening. People are leaving Funko Pop sitting there. Um, if you look at GameStop, if you really want to look at somebody who got a ton of Funko Pops, that's GameStop. GameStop is having issues with trying to move the product because they usually have some weird sale. You know, if you buy two clearance Funko Pops, you get two free. You like, you get two more clearance Funko Pops free. I'm like, yeah, but I don't see nothing I like over there. Man, go over there and take a look. I'm like, what? Go over there and take a look and see if you see anything. I'm like, it's that bad. He was like, man, look, we're trying to get rid of these damn things. He said, they're not moving. And I believe him. They're not moving. 
you know, this is what you, this is what happens when you invest heavily on something. And see, places like GameStop were trying to look for other stuff besides video games. They were trying to find, venture off into action figures and collectibles and everything like that. And this is what the Pops came in at. Pops were doing really good for them at one point in time. Then all of a sudden, the demand for them started dying out. You know, I'm not saying that people are not collecting again. They are, but the demand is dying out, man. Don't get me wrong. These little hunks of plastic, man, hold a lot of nostalgic joy for me, man. I remember looking at the cartoons that a lot of them represent. I remember, you know, just picking them up, you know, uh, where I bought them from. And I remember a lot of this stuff. This is why Funko Pops hold so much value for me, man. Dude, but to later, peace out.